Hi guys, hope everyone's doing well. The last couple of videos I've been talking about the Method and Method and answering your questions about my personal experience using that method. But today I want to talk about how I go about structuring my training programs. And this follows a question from Whittycomb who just wanted me to dig a little bit deeper into the two by eight week training blocks that I had planned on doing leading into the Gold Coast 50 in December. Unfortunately, I dropped the table on my toe a couple of weeks ago and smashed my toe, uh, which has put me out for about six weeks. So that's thrown a bit of a spanner in the works, but we'll follow through on Woody Combs question and answer that one in a little while. But guys, I just want to stress, and I've said this many, many times on the channel on a variety of different subjects that not one size fits all. So what works in my training is not necessarily going to work for other people so just bear that in mind when I'm talking about putting together this training program now guys if you are self coach like I have been since I first started running back in 1982 I've tried a lot of different training programs I've tried a lot of different training sessions over the years and it's taken me a long time to work out what works best for me and I feel that only in the last 12 months in part using the Mafferton method or the low heart rate running that seems to be the best method for me. I think that the results of the time trials that I did a few weeks ago over those five kilometer, 10 kilometers and half marathon distance proves to me that I'm on the right track with my running now. And also guys, if you do have a coach, make sure that you keep an open dialogue with your coach and give your coach feedback to how you're feeling with the program that they're setting. Because at the end of the day, you wanna make sure that you're getting the most benefit from that coaching relationship. So guys, don't be afraid to sit down with your coach and discuss how you're feeling about the program that they're setting for you. And on the other side, guys, if you're self-coached, try different things until you strike what works best for you. I'm not sure if you can see that magpie there, guys, but he's been sitting there for about the last 10 or 15 minutes. Uh, and there's about another five or six around here as well. I'm sure they're waiting for food, but I haven't got anything for them. Sorry, guys. All right, Woody Comb, let's dive into why I chose to do two eight-week training blocks leading into the Gold Coast 50. And the main reason is I felt that 16 weeks was just too long. I think for me, if I was to do a 16 week training block, then I would find myself maybe losing a little bit of motivation and maybe even getting a little bit flat uh, from a training block that long. So that's the reason why I chose to break it up into two eight week training blocks. And I'd only just started that first eight week training block when I suffered the broken toe. But I'll give you an explanation on what that block was going to involve. The first four weeks of that initial eight week training block was to be one week of easy running and one week of higher intensity running. Now I'd only just completed the first week before I had the incident with the toe and that first week looked a little bit like this. You can see here on Strava, the mileage was 131 kilometers. What's that, about 75, 80 mile week, guys? That was broken up into a long run on the Sunday, uh, a medium long run midweek, and grass recovery running sessions on the Monday and two other days of easy running around that 12 to 15 kilometer mark. The higher intensity workout, just the two, I don't do any more than two a week in any higher intensity weeks. And the first one on the Tuesday was a six kilometer tempo at a half marathon pace. So it was around that four minutes uh, kilometer pace. Uh, I'll put the mile conversion uh, up here, guys, so you can see. And then on the Friday, I did an 18 kilometer run, which included two sets of three kilometers at marathon pace. So around that four 10-ish per kilometer pace. And the recovery between those was the four minutes, 30 kilometer pace. And the reason I chose that four minutes, 30 kilometer pace was that uh, that was the goal pace for the Gold Coast 50 that I was hoping to achieve. So that was the, the first week and then I suffered the toe explosion, but the next week was again to be that 130 to 140 kilometers mileage, and that was just to be completely easy running, low heart rate running, if you like, uh, Mafferton method, and that was just to give the body a chance to recover and start to absorb that higher intensity stuff that I did the week before. So week three then would have looked a little bit similar to week one, where I would have still reached that 130 
240 kilometer mileage and would have done another tempo and more marathon specific pace in another session now with the distances on the tempo would have probably increased it to eight kilometers on that week and for the marathon pace session would have probably included another three kilometer set but shortened the warm up and cool down components of that so that I was still sticking around about that 20 kilometers and then week four again of that first training block would have been back to the easy running or the low heart rate running again around that 130 140 kilometer mileage mark so I'm trying to hit that 130 140 k mark uh, week in week out in that first four week block the reason for the easy running in that week four was to just allow the body to recover and absorb that higher intensity stuff again and then leading into the second component of that eight week training block which was to be made up of three weeks of higher intensity stuff and then one week of easy running leading into the second eight week training block component that would have got me to the Gold Coast 50. Now the second four weeks of that first eight week training block would have looked fairly similar to the first four weeks except that I would be doing it uh, for three consecutive weeks. would still be doing the tempo and marathon specific pace each week. So I still would have stuck with the two higher intensity sessions a week. The tempo, I would have increased the distance over those three weeks from the eight kilometers to around 14 to 15 kilometers what i would have done with the marathon pace sessions was increase that to five sets with shorter recoveries and still sticking to around that 20 22 kilometer distance for that in that second four week block would have been increasing the long run distance to around 40 kilometers continuing the medium midweek long run over a hilly terrain and sticking to that grass recovery session on that Monday to allow the body to recover from that long run the, the previous day. And the rest of the week guys would have just been nice easy running. Now with that second eight week training block, it would have been much more focused on race pace that I wanted to achieve at the Gold Coast 50. But guys, I won't go into that now because I think what I'll do is when I do return to running, my plan is still to run the Gold Coast 50, but I might just make a series of videos where you can follow my training journey as I prepare for the Gold Coast 50. Obviously my goal now is going to be a little bit different. The plan was to run that four minute 30 per kilometre average, which was about a 345. Obviously that's now going to change because of what's happened with the foot. So look out for that when I do get back to running. Uh, it'll be my journey to that Gold Coast 50, coming back from the broken toe and seeing what I can achieve at that race in December. So I hope that answers a little bit of your question, Gritty Comb. It's unfortunate that I didn't get to complete that training block because of the toe, but these things happen. And But I'll be back and bigger and better and stronger, hopefully, and then uh, come along for the ride, guys, because not sure how it's going to go, actually, but we'll, uh, we'll see. All right, guys, uh, if you've made it all the way through to the end of the video, thanks very much for watching. Uh, please consider giving the video a bit of love by hitting that thumbs up like button and uh, if you aren't a subscriber already please consider subscribing would really appreciate that really appreciate it too if you shared the video with your friends or your running community uh, just gives the channel a little bit of a boost all right guys so that's about it for this video stay safe happy running and i'll catch you in the next one Very.